Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Ohio State and Dayton meet in the 11-6 matchup in the South, and Ohio State's currently a six-point favorite, and that line has moved up from its opening of five and a half. And this is another tournament game where the two teams matched up come in with very opposite momentum, uh, at least from an ATS perspective. Dayton, of course, early in conference play, lost a bunch of games in a row, and at the end of January, they were actually close to the bottom of the standings in the Atlantic 10. Then starting in February, they won 10 of their last 12 games straight up to make the tournament, and they also wound up going 8-4 and four against the spread in those games as well. They were also 4-1 and one against the spread on neutral courts on the year, so Dayton comes into this game with positive signs as far as a line value is concerned. Ohio State is sort of in the opposite situation. Ohio State lost their last six games in a row against the spread, including two Big Ten Conference Tournament games. They won straight up, but didn't cover their uh, single-digit favorite spreads. And that's looking like we, what we uh, might again have here. Ohio State looks like a team with some real positives, but they also look like they just aren't likely to blow out any game and reasonably capable opponent. And they're probably a bad bet as a decent-sized favorite against a team like that, which is what Dayton looks to be uh, right now. Dayton might not have what it takes to uh, you know, maybe make a deep run in the tournament, but the question is, do they have what it takes to be a good bet, to be more likely than not to stay within six of Ohio State in this opening round game? And I think that they probably do. And before Dayton stumbled in January, they actually had some games in non-conference play that in retrospect, do look pretty good. They beat Gonzaga outright, they lost to Baylor by just one, and they got several margin wins over non-elite but uh, decent competition from good conferences. So I'm gonna go with Dayton here, plus six.